Hey, my baby pandas! Happy New Year's! And I am starting off the New Year's with my reorganized manga bookshelves. I am exhausted. <laughs> I worked on this for honestly hours. It's really sad, but it's done. It's done. I cannot wait to show you what I have done and improved with my manga shelves. So let's start. So here, we are gonna start over here. So I did it, how I organized everything. I decided to do everything alphabetically. Um, so I did alphabetically for the normal sized manga. And then as we go further, you'll see I organized also my Japanese manga together. And then also the bigger manga sizes I kept on their own shelves. So let's start up here. So here are all the A's to C's. So we have Absolute Boyfriend, we have After Hours, Animo, Big Hero, Six of course, Bloom Into You, Captive Hearts, and Claymore. And then now moving down here, so Claymore is a big, it's a long one. So for these guys I did have to start stacking them to make sure I have room for future manga and just room in general so let me shift um what is behind here so it's pretty much just claymore claymore so it's like pretty much the whole set of claymore and a random like a freebie from 2009 can you believe that guys jesus that's old so we have the c's so abc's and then back here behind the genshikin i have a bunch of manga let me try and and do this quickly all right, so beside the Claymores, of course, I have Deers or Deer S. I have Demon Love Spell, and then I have Fall in Love Like a Comic. And then beside it, I have all of my gorgeous Food Wars manga. And so I do have more coming, so I opted to keep Food Wars in its own section like that. And then moving on to uh, the continuation of F's, we have Foxy Lady, we have Free Callers Kingdom, we have Gakuen Palaze, we have of course my beautiful Genshikin collection. As you can see, I have collected the first uh, season or first series of it, the original series, and the second season which goes up to 12. I decided to keep the uh, Kujibiki Unbalanced with it because it is a part of the Genshiken universe. So that is why it is together. And then moving on, we are continuing with the G's. Look at all these stacks, guys. My God. So behind here, let me pull these out. All right, so behind that one, we have uh, Goth. We have Ghost. Talkers Daydream and then of course we have Girls Got Game and then I'm gonna put this back so you guys can see the remainder oh, Don't fart at me! And then behind these guys we have Haganai, hopefully I'm saying that correctly uh, Hana and is it Hana and Hina? Yes, Hana and Hina we have Haruhi, and we have High School of the Dead. So I'm going to push this back. And then behind this one... So behind it, we have the complete set of Inu X Boku SS. And it goes up to Volume 11. And then I Otaku above it. And of course, Junk Force 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to shift this now downward. Yes, move along, move along. Having it stacked, I will tell you this, it does save a lot of room. It really does, but it can be a headache. So, just a heads up, if you have to stack them, I feel your pain. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So in front, we have Juvenile Orion. We have, um, oh my gosh, I can't read this upside down. Uh, Kana, Kanazuki no Miko, and then we have Kill Me, Kiss Me. So that is the second row, or sorry, the third row of the shelf. So this is how it's looking like so far. Moving on down here is more stacking. <laughs> so let's dig in and see what's behind here. 
So behind here, going continu continuing alphabetically, we have laid back camp, and I'm kind of sad that it's back there. <laughs> I wish that was up front because I really love laid back camp. I might change this setup in the future, but I wanted to see how I felt with it being alphabetical order. So laid back camp is all the way in the bottom. Uh, we have love attack, which was really good. And I'm so sad they didn't continue it um, because Tokyo Pop went out of business in North America. So, oh, I wish they did continue because it was really good. The way they left off volume six, I wanted more. And then, of course, we have love in hell so let's continue to see what's behind the rest of these guys all right so behind these guys we have uh meru puri or meadow puri and then of course we have miss kobayashi's dragon maid we have them hidden behind here so let me put this back in order and then we will see what's behind these lovely papals let's see what's going on all right, so behind those guys, we have Mixed Vegetables, the complete set, as well as My Girlfriend's a Geek. So that is what's hiding behind this corner right here. So now we're going to focus on the front. All right, so moving to what is up front, we have NTR Netsuzu Trap, which is a very juicy Yuri manga. Just by looking at the covers or looking this up, you'll know. And then I have these guys, or this manga that I cannot pronounce to save my life. Uh, so I'm just going to show you how it looks like. <laughs> so we are on the O's uh, with the um, Oreimo uh, manga. I opted to keep them together. Um, so for me, I like to, to try my best to keep uh, certain certain manga together so i know this is alphabetical and usually people would probably put this under the k's but i just i just overrid that and i'm like you know what i like them together and also this one i was i'm still debating if i should keep this one here because it is bigger but for now they are all together because I, I like that so that is the ore emo set um the first two that came out and of course the Kuroneko series that they came out with as well and then the uh, anthology down here and then up here we have uh, pink innocent and then down hidden down there we have peppermint and then we have people people cho which is a very interesting manga that i can't i really can't wait to read honestly i need to read <laughs> that's what i need to do but people cho if you look that up it has a very interesting storyline and then of course we have pita 10 so now we are off to this this beautiful shelf right here yes i love this one so let's start up here and i'm gonna push these aside so you guys can see what's hidden behind it this one's a little easier because there's more wiggle room so let's start continuing the alphabetical order shall we come on move aside for mama <laughs> All right, so back here, we have Pretty Face, we have Princess Eye, we have Quasar of Stigmata. Guys, if you're mature enough, look up that anime. That's all I'm saying. We have uh, Rizal Mine, yes, Rizal Mine. We, we have Rosen Maiden, and of course, if we push these guys back, the beautiful, the one, and the only. If this will let me push it <laughs> the Sailor Moon uh, manga collection so this is I'm assuming this is everything that they released manga wise um, they have the I think this one's the Sailor V they did one and two and then of course the main guys I will push these aside so you can see the whole thing come on yes so Sailor Moon up to volume 12 and then I think these are uh, short stories, the romance short stories or something like that. One and two. Let me know if they release more Sailor Moon manga because I haven't, didn't do research on that. And I feel like I have everything, but let me know. And then we have School Live or Live, one, two, and six. I will try and complete this because it looks really cute. And then we have Shot, oh my gosh. I hope I don't butcher this because I this anime I know I adore. Uh, Shakugan no Shana. 
And this one I know is really hard, really, really hard for me to find and collect because it is an older manga. And then this one on the corner here is not, it's not manga, but it's like a, um, it's spirited away. It's basically a movie, movie picture book. So it follows the movie uh, in a book form with all the pictures. It's really beautiful. And then up front, we have, we have a uh, Sorcerer Hunters, and that one's really old too. And then we have Sun Dome, which is really, that storyline though. That's all I gotta say about that. You can look it up if you want to but it is very risky and it's, it's messed up that's all i have to say about that one uh this one is of course triage x uh, i always relate this to high school of the dead i feel like i think that the same someone that worked on for high school of the dead also worked on this i'm not sure who but if you looked at the covers and and you can compare them you'll know why just remember high school of the dead so moving on <laughs> So moving on down here, look how cute these figures are. Oh my god, so cute. So moving on here, of course, let me move this aside if I can. Oh yes, it's making it easy. I have the huge collection of Vampire Knight. And then it goes all the way down here. Can you guys see that? So I collected um, the normal edition for volume 19 and of course the special edition. You guys can see the spine is gold so if you're into vampire night they did release a very special edition and uh, i'm happy i did get it get it and then we of course have venus versus virus which to me here here comes a debate i really wish that i didn't collect the omnibus omnibus version of seven and eight i wish i kept it all individual because now it looks awkward Sorry, that's my OCD. I'm just being honest. Am I the only one like that? Because I really wish I didn't do that. I'm probably not. Let me know, guys. Does this... Would you be happy with that or or not? Tell me. Because for me, I regret it. <laughs> and then we have Yotsuba. We have Yotsuba. I have 1 to 13. And I swear, I swear I saw volume 14 out. And if it is out, I am coming to find you and I will get you. But yeah, they released this one, like, I remember 13 came out a while ago. Um, but if I did see number 14, I'm quite excited because I'm surprised they're still releasing anything. But yeah, that hopefully is not a dream, but I will get volume 14 if that's out. Let me know. Yotsuba! And then, of course, we have uh, Yubisaki Milk Tea, volumes 1 to 8. So that is the second section of the shelf. Now moving on to my favorite parts. Like everything's my favorite, but this is just my, I love it. So we have my little Chobit section. So with this, I decided to keep the manga and English manga together. Um, and I organized it alphabetically. So let's let's start. It just looks so cute together seeing the English and, and Japanese manga together. I love it. So here is my, oh no, her little couch. Don't fall. Stay together. I will fix it. But, hold on. Look how, first of all, look how pretty this figure is. I hope I'm not too wobbly. But the couch is being a little diva right now. All right, here we go. So we have my little Chobit section here. So the English, of course, the Japanese, and then my Himoto uh, manga, the English and Japanese. Of course, more English, more English are coming. It's on the way. And I just put the little Himoto figure that I have. Trust me, I do have more, more Himoto things coming soon. I just, oh, and this guy, I mean, he's super cute. I had to leave him on my shelf, but I'll show you what's behind. And behind here, I just have like random Japanese uh, manga volumes that just... I don't know how I got them, but I have them. So those, this is my, my beginning stages of my Japanese manga section. Super cute. I really love how colorful Himoto is. I've mentioned that so many times. And then we are going to take a step below and continue with j Japanese manga. So we have uh, Kodomo no Jikan. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. I really do, okay? I really try. And then the ultimate 
my gorgeous and favorite little corner of heaven my lucky star collection so let me just okay this is tricky because these these figures are very very sensitive when you move them around and honestly like half of them are sort of damaged throughout the years i feel super super bad sorry if this looks awkward me so, like slowly moving it like that but let's just take a look at how beautiful they are but look at this guys so we have my english um lucky star manga followed by the beautiful gorgeous and pretty much completed set plus bonuses of the japanese lucky star manga honestly guys i hope i hope to one day find all of them and just be super happy with that right now i have two three four five seven <laughs> i really hope i could find the rest um but that one's also going to be super hard to find and if it is available online they like charge an arm and a leg but look at the spines of these i love it ah oh, so beautiful so that is the first two shelves so i'm just gonna walk a little backwards so you guys can see like a full a full intake of what is happening and my figures have stayed the same whatever's up there have stayed the same but just in case you're new to the channel i'm stepping onto my bed and i'm hoping you guys can see that but um my room sort of stayed the same i know i've been requested to show an updated room tour i will show that but trust me not a lot have changed right now it's just a mess <laughs> It's just a mess. That's why I am not showing too, too much. And there are other things that I, that I need to show you guys. <laughs> Very exciting things. So here are the first two shelves. Now let's move on to this guy over here. Okay, let me start from the top. And then I will scroll, 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 scroll to that part over there. I think you guys have seen this part here too. But let me just go up here. Let's start up here. I really hope my new camera is doing its job. I feel like it is. But look at that. Oh, guys. The pull-up Sailor Moon. I know you've guys seen this in the past. But like I said, if you're new here. This pull-up doll is everything. And I hope to collect the whole gang. Even with these, these Sailor Moon figures. I really hope to, to find all of them one day. But... We'll see. And then there's more figures behind, but we will do that another time. So, now we are moving on to my bigger manga, my omnibus manga, my taller manga, and, and all of that stuff. So, let's start up here. We have some Yahweh, or Yaoi. I always forget how to pronounce that. But we have, after I win, we have A Gentleman's Kiss. And then, of course, we have my ultimate, my other ultimate favorite, like one of my, just one of my favorites because I have a bunch. But Black Lagoon, if you guys never watched that anime, please do. That anime is amazing. And if you don't want to watch that anime, get the manga, but watch the anime. <laughs> and then, we, of course, we have um, Citrus, another Yuri manga because I love Yuri. We have Complex Age, which I'm currently reading. So far, so good. We have the huge, huge Omnibus manga, Dance in the Vampire Bund. And it continues all the way down here. Look at this little princess. Yes, you slay it. So, Dance in the Vampire Bund is one of my biggest manga um, series in terms of, like, how big they are. They're freaking huge. I really hope it's done. Because <laughs> they're... I, I don't know. I don't know how far this goes, but I really hope it is is done because this is it's it's huge. It's thick. It's huge, and yes. And then there's like bonus dance in the vampire bun storylines. And I'm gonna move Darth Vader so you guys can see what's behind here. We have Eclair, which is an anthology of Yuri uh, stories. We have Fallen Moon, Gotcha Gotcha, Girlfriends. We have. Um, Ayono Sama Fanatics. And then we have uh, Kasa, Kasei san, 
which is also another Yuri. Lots of Yuri happening right now. We have Kindred or Kindred Spirits, the complete collection. We have Kisses, Sighs, and Cherry Blossom Pink, another Yuri. This is like all Yuri, okay? Let's just be real here. It's a lot of Yuri. And then down here, more Yuri and, and other things. So let me put this aside. We have, of course, the another amazing anime you guys need to watch is Made in Abyss. We have Mao Chan, which is super cute. I mean, this is, I picked this up long ago. I got it because it was cute. Um, Princess Jellyfish, which a lot of, a lot of people love and adore. I need to get volume eight. It is coming. But Princess Jellyfish, look at the spines. Look how gorgeous. And I just cannot wait to devour and read it. We have Secret of the Princess. We have Strawberry Panic, which is a very classic Yuri manga as well. One of the first Yuri manga that came out in North America. Uh, or one of my first ones that I ever purchased anyways. Um, and then, of course, we have Sweetness and Lightning. And I heard that one is good as well. That one I got in like um, one of my loot anime loot boxes. We have the last uniform. And then we have Tokyo Tarariba Girls, which is um, sort of related to Princess Jellyfish. I think obviously storylines are different, but I feel like um, the same, something of the same. They're, they're from the same people. So just letting you guys know. We have Voiceful. And then in front, we have Whispered Words. We have Wotakoi, which I cannot wait to read as well. And then we have Zero's Familiar. Now moving down, <laughs> I'm going to try not to zoom in too much because this is all of my beautiful hentai stuff. So yes, honey, yes, I do have rated 18 books down there and doujin and yeah. So this is, this is the third shelf popping. So let me just show you. Oh, and down below I have Nandroid and a lot of Lucky Star goodies. That's where they are currently residing at the moment. If you guys want to know what I got, just leave a comment below. Maybe I will let you know. But just for, for, just to make sure this video doesn't get flagged, I cannot go too, too close. But you guys can kind of see what's going on there, right? Is interesting and doujin I mean doujin is like yes so this is the third third shelf that I have going on and just in case you guys didn't know I got in an, an extra shelf this shelf was for free um, that's why it's a different color I just got it for free I mean a free shelf is, is a bonus so I I got this shelf and right now it's just housing some of my my figures that you guys have seen in past hauls but just in case you guys forgot this is my Figma collection of my Lucky Star series so they are w wearing the winter gear and I have Konada in summer gear and then her cosplaying as Haruhi I am going to try and find the other girls in the summer gear so we'll see if I can find that kind of want to do it kind of don't we'll see what do you guys think should I do it let me know comment below if I should complete the set <laughs> it's a little crazy but I will I'm contemplating so help me finalize my decision so right now this shelf is like holding um you know some of the figures that cannot fit in my storage or just to to house them but if I ever need space for more manga this is where they're going but for now it's just holding figures and their boxes and then they're also holding more stuff I have to film for you guys up here is something I gotta film so don't worry it's coming soon but I want to scroll down to the bottom with without giving too much away oh look at my little socks <laughs> but anyways so down here this is where I keep um, all of my um, art books all of the really random stuff, art books, I have Harley Quinn, I have the huge high school omnibus uh, manga in color, which that is gorgeous. So if you love High School of the Dead, um, I would totally recommend getting that. I hope you guys can see the bottom. But yeah, this is like just art books and, and other things that don't belong um, with my manga. So they have their own special section. Alright, so that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed that 
manga haul and my first 2019 video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you need more of me, I will have my links down below and more videos on the way. Trust me, more and more videos on the way. Um, but yeah, leave a comment below on what you'd like to see next. I know that a room tour is, is due. But if you need anything else or want anything else, let me know. Um, but yes, a lot of videos are being planned and, and hopefully you guys will enjoy. I love you guys so much, my pandas. Thank you for watching. I will zoom in while I say goodbye. I love you. Bye, pandas. Mwah. And Happy New Year's.